few interesting moves by the Indianapolis Colts today. Very interesting in my opinion. They cut running back Phil Lindsay and they traded for a linebacker from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Grant Stewart. So first we're going to talk about the trade. So it's an, it's an interesting trade because Grant Stewart is a linebacker and you ask yourself, you know, the Colts already have linebackers that they like to really fill in for Leonard. You know, they're not going to be Leonard's forte. They're not going to be up there and as and make as big of an impact as Leonard as Leonard does, but they're going to fill in, you know, they're going to they're going to help us get by. Jojo Dahlman and 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 Akella Wither. No, it's not Witherspoon. Uh, I'm blanking right now, but um yeah, it's it's interesting because those two had a pretty damn good camp and had pretty damn good preseason. So, one of them just had like 10 tackles in yesterday's game. So, you know, these two are very talented. So, you're asking, you know, maybe are the Colts scared that Leonard isn't going to come back in time or you know, it's more serious and it's going to wait it's, it's going to take longer. No, I don't think that's the case. Usually that's what I would think in a situation like this. Just the way I think, but I think that the Colts just want to get better in special teams because Grant Stewart was a solid special teams player for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He forced 15 tackles. Uh, it was a forced fumble, and he had three tackles in the postseason. So the Colts did trade a 2023 sixth round pick, and they got Grant Stewart and a 2023 seventh. So this is very similar to the Matt Pryor trade. Very similar. And by the way, got this news from Bring the Juice. So I'll leave the link down below. Make sure you go check them out. I usually get a lot of my news from them. So I'm giving them a credit because that's where I saw it first. Uh, it's where I saw it first. I know they didn't, probably didn't come out with the first made the dead. But just didn't look into that too much. But Bring the Juice, awesome job. Thank you for getting the news out. Uh, allowing me to make a video. Talk about it a little bit. So not really too much to talk about it, really. You know, it's, you know, it's kind of like that prior trade. You didn't come in, you know, do the Colts keep six linebackers because you have, uh, you're, you're going to keep Shaquille Leonard on the roster. You're going to have uh, Okereke, Franklin, Speed, Dolman. Um, I know it starts with a W. I'm just blanking on another guy's name. But, you know, maybe you keep six linebackers. That's probably what they plan on doing, especially if they trade for someone. So, uh, then the Philip Lindsay cut this one surprises me this is a surprise cut you know philip Lindsay signing philip Lindsay. i was me personally and quite a few other colts fans you know you know a lot of them were really excited we all know how talented philip Lindsay is it's just really surprised that philip Lindsay was cut we love philip Lindsay. you know he's you know he's very talented and he'd be a good relief for taylor so he'd keep his legs fresh but i guess the colts like someone else more you know, I guess they, you know, me, I don't know. I really don't know the reasoning behind it because I, because I think Phil Lindsay is an amazing relief for JT. So yeah, those, those are really the two, the two news today, two, two very good pieces of news, a trade and a surprising cut. So you guys let me know what you think about this news. What do you think about the, about the Grant Stewart trade? What do you think about the Colts cutting Philip Lindsay? So Thank you for tuning in to the JJB Sports Talk Show. Where your fans welcome. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on. And this is JW signing off.